Hey guys, welcome back to No Catchy Name. It's me, Ella. Today, I picked up my items that I entered into my county fair. And I wanted to share them with you guys and what ribbons I got for them. And also, I can't remember all the patterns off the top of my head. But by the time you see this video, in the description box below the video, will be the links to all the patterns that I, that I used. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. So, I'm going to go ahead and hop into it. There's not going to be in any particular order because... I didn't keep them in the right order <laughs> but I entered this year I entered um, 12 items which is really small usually I enter 20 something or 30 something but I didn't know they were doing it this year until it was like almost time anyways I entered 12 and I won 10 ribbons so there's only two items I did not win on which is fine I'm perfectly fine with that and I got 10 ribbons so here's my ribbons <laughs> no uh, best of show this year but you know there's always next year I did get best to show in 2018 and 2019, so I was happy with that. But okay, so I already wrote on the back of them which thing won what, so uh, it would be easier for me to hopefully go through them, but we'll see. All right, so like I said, all the patterns will be linked below. Some of them are paid for patterns and some of them are free patterns. This one I think is a paid for pattern, but I tested it for the designer. And it's called, I think it's called Aviator Bird. Um, but the category I entered it into was stuffed toys. So, uh, my fair has a ton of different categories. A ton of them. But this is the bird. <laughs> I'm sure y'all have seen it if you have been watching me for a little while. But it was a test pattern. And again, they'll be linked below. And I won first prize for that one. So, woohoo, first prize. <laughs> and, let's see, let's just grab one off here. Alright, this next one was other holiday decoration. Um, I didn't have anything that I made specifically for hol holidays in the last year other than this blanket. It's a little like throw afghan, but I think it still counted because even I made it for decoration to drape over like a couch or something. And um, I can't remember what the pattern is, but it's, it's by Red Heart. And it's a square pattern and they show you how to make a blanket out of it. But I made this this past uh, Valentine's season. Very cute. And it won first as well. <laughs> So, woo! But yeah, so I entered this as a Valentine's Day decoration, and it went first. Alright, what's next? Okay, this one, this is a secret thing, uh, because it's a gift for someone, and I don't want them to see it. But I won first place with it. <laughs> I'll just go ahead and say that. It was a crocheted item, and uh, it was in a category. I can't even say it, because I don't want to give it away. But uh, this is my secret Halloween project I've been working on. I entered it into the fairy and won first place. <laughs> so, woo! <laughs> All right, next is my snowman tissue cover. I made him fairly recently, in August, I believe, sometime, for a um, national holiday. So there he is. I don't have a box in him right now. I took it out. <laughs> so this was entered into the Christmas decoration category, and it won first place as well. Woo. Now, I will say this year, there wasn't as much stuff entered into our fair as usual. There was a lot of stuff, but it, usually there's a ton of stuff. <laughs> so I think because of COVID and all that, um, interfered with it so uh hopefully next year more people will enter but still there's that one all right what's next all right this is my halloween tote bag i just made recently i entered this into the other needle point not needle point needle um needlework uh category and in our fair needlework is sewing crochet knit cross stitch embroidery Felting, all anything you do with needles, <laughs> basically. Fibery top arts is considered needlework. Uh, sorry, yeah. <laughs> anyway, so I entered my tote bag. This I do know this pattern. This is a paid for pattern by Snappy Tots. It's called Halloween Sampler Bag. <laughs> so I entered it. I just recently finished this. I still got a line it, but I entered it and I won second place for this. I can't remember off the top of my head. The thing that won, I believe, in this category was a it was a cross stitched um pin cushion i believe that won first place so second place is so awesome <laughs> especially since i just finished that that was one of the last things i decided to enter into the fair so it was cool all right what is this okay this is my sweater i made this last year but it still counts because it counts as like a calendar year from the last fair to the current fair so this is my sweater this pattern is by sorella i think it's called the everyday cardigan by sorella and I made it, y'all would have seen it. I made this one and also made like a rainbow color one. So this is, this is, I love this yarn. Something. <laughs> but 
but this was entered into the crochet sweater category <laughs> and it won first place. So that's cool. They also have a knit one, but there were uh, a few crochet sweaters entered, so it was cool to win out of, you know, a selection. <laughs> it's always cool to win out of a, a big selection of items because it, you know, makes you feel better that yours was chosen over other people's, even though that kind of sounds rude, <laughs> but you know what I mean. All right, another crochet hat. There was a, a few of these too. I entered my strawberry beret, which I love. Bloop. I love my strawberry beret. <laughs> there it is. My hair is kind of shwonky. There we go. My strawberry beret. This is a free pattern. I can't remember, again, who it's by, but it'll be linked in the description. And it was crochet hat category, and I got second place. The one that won first place was a, it looked like a child size hat, but it had a whole bunch of different stitch work in it. And I've noticed that my fair, the blankets and things like that, hats and things, that have a bunch of different types of stitches in it are the ones that tend to win. They don't really care about, like, um, using different colors and things. They, they look for different stitches. Like my Mandala Madness, it won best to show. And I made, um, that was 2018. In 2019, my best to show was a baby blanket. I think it was the same people who made a Mandala Madness, but it was a different one. Times of Change, maybe? No, no, no. It was high, high Tides Waves or something like that blanket. And again, it had a bunch of different stitches. And that seems to be what the judges look for. This hat makes me look super pale now. <laughs> All right, next category is, okay, Afghan. This is regular size Afghan. And it is a six day kids blanket, really popular pattern. I made this earlier this year. I think it was, yeah, it was this year. Which way's the front? Doesn't matter. I don't know. <laughs> but it's a six day blanket, and I used red heart, ombre, a pink color, and a gray color. I can't remember the names. They smell super dusty. I guess that building is dusty that they, the exhibit building. But this one I won second place. <laughs> and again, the, Af the Afghan that won was one with a ton of different stitch work. I love the Afghan. Uh, I've got a lot of compliments on it, so uh, I'm, I'm happy with any place. <laughs> All right. Uh, and then this category was doll. And it could be crochet, knit, sewn, anything like that kind of doll. And I entered my clown. This pattern was gifted to me. It is pay for pattern. And uh, again, I'll link it below. So I entered my little clown. And I got first place. The other dolls that were entered into that category were sewn ones. They were like, um, the kind that come in like a sheet, a fabric panel that you cut out and then sew together. And then mine, I think that's why mine won because it's crocheted and theirs was, um, you know, like a panel you just cut out and sew together, which are still nice, but you know, mine just, um, has more work in it, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I'm not a judge. And then the last one that I won for was my shawl. I made this shawl either early this year or late last year. I can't remember. <laughs> this is more Red Heart yarn. I use a lot of Red Heart yarn. This is Red Heart with Love. I think it was called Boysenberry. It's a really pretty purpley color. And again, I can't remember the name of the shawl because <laughs> it's been a while. But it will be linked below. It's a beautiful shawl. It's like a round shawl. I love it. And it points at the end kind of like a uh, star blanket. And with it, I won second place. This category was other crochet item because <laughs> they don't have a shawl category. They have a scarf one, but not a shawl. They used to have a shawl one, but they've, you know, they, they every year they get rid of some and add some and stuff. So, yeah. So, I got 10 ribbons. I got four second place ribbons and six first place ribbons. And I'm coughing because I, I had to edit it out. And the other two things I entered and didn't win on was my sewn tote bag, which is fine. The ones that were there were way fancier than mine. I entered this one. This is mine. This is the one I made for myself. Um, didn't win anything on that, but that was okay. And then the baby blanket that I made. Uh, Little Cherub. <laughs> it's called Little Cherub by Yarn Suppressions. <clears throat> and again, I think this didn't win because it's kind of, you know, it's like this stitch and this stitch. It's just two, two different repeats. And the ones that win are the ones that have like a, cra a lot of crazy stitch work on it, which is understandable. So, but I still love this blanket. I can't wait to use it for June. <laughs> but those are the two that I didn't win on. This pile is the ones I went on. So, I got my ribbons. And I thought I was going to get like $30. Um, but I forgot that the, they upped the um, premiums. They did it uh, last year, but then the fair got canceled, you know. So, I didn't get to participate in the 2020 fair. Just like everybody. Anyways, I had to get a drink of water. So I got, I ended up getting a check for $57. So I was super excited about that. 
because I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven of them. I won six dollars. It was seven first place ribbons for six dollars, and then no, it was six first place and one second, but it's a different category. And then uh, three five dollar ones. So the three categories that I entered into, right, here's a list. <laughs> Uh, it's crafts, needlework, and sewing because all my stuff falls under those categories. And then they have the classes and then the lot numbers and then the exposition numbers. That's my code at my county fair. Um, it's the same code for years ever since 2018, 2017? 2017, yeah. It's the first year I entered. That's my little number uh, that identifies me and my items. And then these are the categories that I entered listed right here. So, uh, I think I got them all right. Christmas crafts, no reuse. Any other holiday or special occasion. So, like, um, days that don't con aren't considered, like, birthdays and stuff like that. <laughs> Toy, crocheted. It just says crocheted. Oh, that's, that's the blankets. Afghans. Baby Afghan. The secret one that I can't tell y'all. <laughs> Stuffed toy. Uh, tote bag. Any other needlework. Sweater crocheted. Hat crocheted. And then other crocheted article. That's what I got. So, this is my little thing. My check's already ripped off. I got it in there so I can remember to take it to the bank on Tuesday. <laughs> but, yeah, it's always fun to enter the fair because it's just fun to get ribbons and, uh, you know, get to see other people's items and also get a little bit of money out of it. So, uh, this year I did pretty good. $57 for, and I got 10 ribbons out of 12 items, so that's cool. Um, last year, there was no fair. In 2019, I got $101, but I entered like 30 things and also got a best of show which is ten dollars automatically right there and then all the little ones add up so yeah i got a ton of these ribbons now they do have my county on it and the city and all that stuff and i always write on the back what um what the year was what i entered and what category it was so that i just know for future reference and i have a box <laughs> in my special box that i have that has all my ribbons in it and when we get a house i want to eventually figure out a way to display them maybe get separate frames for each year and then frame the ribbons laid out somehow <laughs> and like pictures of the things i entered because i always take pictures of them and uh just so it'd be like a memory thing i guess i could scrapbook that it'd be better than having things hanging on the wall because <laughs> in theory if i do this for 30 years that'd be a lot of picture frames <laughs> but uh probably do a scrapbook maybe but yeah i love getting these ribbons it's just fun you know and i can say i'm an award-winning crocheter <laughs> But uh, it's just a lot of fun. So yeah, that was my county fair haul. So I will cash my check on Tuesday by putting it in the bank. <laughs> and probably will spend it on something stupid like yarn or something. I don't know. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so that's my plan. Actually, I'll probably buy food with it. <laughs> because I like food. And I'm pregnant, so I'm wanting food all the time. But yeah, anyways, I'm going to hop off here. And again, all the patterns will be linked below if I can find them. If I can't find them, I'll have to keep looking. <laughs> but I'm going to hop off here and I'll see you guys in another video. Bye guys.